Okay, so say you have some product renders that you want to do or you want to show off a model, you need good lighting for that. So I'm going to show you four lighting setups that are really going to make your models pop. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to be using this basic model from Mixamo to show off these renders. So the first setup is a very interesting one. You're basically going to have two highlight shots right here, just two lights. And we're going to be using Blender 2.8 for this, but it goes for almost any program that has lights in it for this 3D type. So if you were to render this, this is what it'll look like. So this is the type of render you're going to get. You just get this really interesting, almost menacing kind of lighting. And it's really, really cool. And if it's not working and this front part is completely black, you can just put just one light in front of it and make it very, very dim. But for this, it worked. The light was bouncing around pretty good. And you have these really, really nice rim lighting going on right there. Okay, now for the second lighting setup. This is a three-point lighting setup, so you have one here. Very similar to the last one, where we pretty much add one to the front that's pretty powerful. Just to show you, these lights have a strength of 5,000 here, and 5,000, and this front one has a strength of 3,000. Now, if your scene is much smaller, say if I took my... Say if I took the scene and he was this small and everything was scaled to that, your lights would not be 5,000. They'd be maybe around 300 and 200 and 200. But because the scene is so large, the strength has to be up. So it's variable on that, but the light setup still remains. And your lighting is going to be nice and even on your model. Everything fills out and you get everything and you can see everything. All right, the next setup is a little bit more moody, just kind of more interesting for that, giving you some contrast. So you're going to have one slightly to the right and a smaller one right here to the left and of course those can be swapped out and this is what the render will look like so here's what you get you get just a softer the one so the one to the left is going to be much dimmer than the one here to the right that's going to be the main light but here you get some nice shadows and it looks really really good for this one i used a darker background just to give you and to show you those shadows and how nice it looks but yeah you get a little bit more interesting lighting with this setup all right so now for some abstract lighting all of these all these lights have a different color assigned to them. So the one here to the right is pink. The one here to the top middle is red. This one is yellow. And this front one is blue. So for here, I use spotlights because they're a little bit more specific instead of these area lights, which just sort of shoot light everywhere. These are very specific to the circle. So these back ones are pretty strongly lit. And this front ones is more dimly lit because we want the, these backs to have these much, these really good highlights. So the render is going to look like this. So it's really, really interesting, very abstract, and uh, and it looks crazy, but simplified. You have one to the right, to the left, one slight to the top, and one right here in the front to kind of fill out the front. Otherwise, it would be pretty much completely black. But if you want to go for that look, it's definitely really cool. So there you go. Those are four nice lighting setups you can use to show your products and your models and things like that. And thanks for watching.